Welcome! In front of me is a Xiaomi 14T Pro and today I will show you how you can record a screen on this device. So to get started you want to swipe down from the top of your screen which brings down your toggles. Now let's quickly check one thing. Now you do want to do it from the top right side as we do have a divide between them so you have notification left and toggles right. Uh, here you'll have obviously a bunch of toggles, which one of those should be a screen recording one. For me, this is the literally last one, which looks like this, uh, kind of like a camera icon. When I click on it, this brings up this overlay right here, and you can obviously start recording with a red circle. Uh, folder takes you to the screen recording album. We have settings and also close option. In the settings, you can customize the quality of the screen recording, but it is already set pretty well. The only thing that I would recommend changing is the frame rate, as it is set to 24. I'll choose 60 as this is just generally a better frame rate. Anyway, uh, now we're just going to click right here to start recording and you can open up applications, record them and so on. Now, do I have internet connection? I do, but am I connected? No, I'm not. The reason I'm checking that is because of Netflix. Netflix has this... Uh, yeah, uh, I guess I won't be able to showcase this. Netflix has a feature or... Android has a feature that Netflix utilizes and I did want to show this uh, as it comes pre-installed and I haven't logged into it but I don't have internet connection so I guess I won't be showing that. Anyway, um, you can open up most applications and you should be able to record them without much of a problem. And once you're done, interact with this pop-up right here and click on the uh, square to stop the recording. I also want to point out that this overlay right here is not going to be visible on a screen recording. Next, we're gonna navigate to our gallery. And your screen recording will be visible in well, photos under today if you have just captured it, but later on, it might be easier for you to find it by going into albums and then screenshots and screen recordings and just make sure you select the uh, screen recordings tab. And here we have the screen recording. Now, uh, what I was going at with the uh, Netflix, uh, there is a feature that uh, is designed for, obviously, us uh, as a, a security and privacy measure, um, but it's being used by uh, garbage apps like Netflix, uh, which have zero business using it. So this feature basically blocks screen recorder uh, from being able to see anything, and that also includes screenshots as well. So if you try to in, uh, record some kind of application that utilizes this, what you will end up having is a straight up just black screen instead of a recording, uh, as long as that application is open. You can uh, start recording on a home screen, it will be recorded, then you open up an app that will show you a black screen. Once you close it, it's gonna go back to actually showing on the recording the uh, home screen. Uh, now, the reason I'm pointing that out is because, like I said, it's a feature designed for privacy and security of the user and it's traditionally uh, from what i can see used by bank applications which you can imagine how that would actually benefit us uh, as you probably wouldn't want to have some malware seeing your pins uh, and credit card informations in the bank obviously and then just kind of sending this these recordings to themselves so in this scenario such a malware would just get a black screen uh, but where it doesn't make sense is netflix and where it doesn't even make more sense is when Netflix is coming pre-installed with the device and I haven't uh, either agreed to the terms of service or use of Netflix because I don't have an account, nor have I opened, like, signed into it, nor have I even installed the garbage app. And yet it can still do all that without my explicit permission. And furthermore, there is no setting in Android for you to change to be able to record such an application. Uh, now, with that being said, if you're trying to record Netflix for piracy, which uh, with this kind of logic I totally uh, support because if dog shit up in basically encroaches on my privacy, I'm gonna do that the same. Uh, use something like CloudStream. Uh, single word, you can thank me later. Uh, screw you Netflix for basically going out of your way and out of what I would consider your jurisdiction. So yeah, uh, anyway. With that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.